Hello students, uh, this question is from instrumentation in 2018. Right, so this question is from signals and systems. It's a very simple question. Y of n is given as x of n cannot with of h of n. Y of z, which is nothing but the z transform of y of n is equal to 1 plus 2 z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. So y of y1 of n is given as x of n converted to h of n minus 2. This is nothing but y1 of n. So we have to find the value of the z transform of y1 of n. So y of z is equal to that of 1 plus 2 z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. Correct? So if you observe, you can write y of n is equal to that of 1 comma 2 comma 1. S or no? y of n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 1 because if you compare y of z is equal to summation of y of n into z power minus 1 I mean minus n with the value of n between the top minus infinity to infinity so if you just compare for the different values of I mean, the, with the coefficients of that you're going to have of z so what you can have y of 0 plus y of 1 z power minus 1 y of 2 into z power minus 2 plus so on. So z power minus 2's coefficient is nothing but y of 2. z power minus 1's coefficient is nothing but y of 1. So z power 0's coefficient is nothing but y of 0. So only these numbers are going to be non-zero. The remaining are going to be zeros. y of 3, y of 4, y of 5. Similarly y of minus 1, y of minus 2 are going to be equal to zeros because there are no coefficients of that. Right? So therefore you are going to have only y of 0, y of 1 and y of 2. So 1, 2, 1. Now, this is nothing but the output y of n. Now, what is given here is nothing but y1 of n is equal to x of n convolved with the of h of n minus 2. See, again here you are using a property of convolution. When you have that x of n convolved with the of h of n is equal to the top y of n, then x of n convolved with the of h of n minus 2 is equal to y of n minus 2. So this is nothing but the time shifting property of convolution. This is the time shifting property of convolution. So please apply the delay of two units. So if you apply the delay of two units, which is nothing but y of n minus 2, is nothing but equal to that of 0 comma 0 comma 1 2 1. Now this is nothing but y1 of n. So once you know y1 of n, you can directly write y of y1 of z. It's nothing but z transform of y1 of n. So you'll have 0 plus 0 z power minus 1 plus 1 z power minus 2 plus 2 z power minus 3 plus 1 z power minus 4 and all zeros. So I am doing the same thing again. Okay? Here I have written y of 0, y of 1. So the coefficient of z power minus 1 is nothing but y of 1. Coefficient of z power minus 2 is nothing but y of 2. So now because I know the values of y of 2, y of 3, y of 4 are non-zeros. And the remaining values are zeros. So I have just substituted here. So it's going to be z power minus 2 plus 2 z power minus 3 plus z power minus 4. So z power minus 2 plus 2 z power minus 3 plus z power minus 4. It's a very simple question. What you have to know is nothing but how to write the Z transform, how to write the inverse Z transform and the property of convolution. Okay, these things you have learned in the class. So probably if you learn these properties, okay, know the properties, it's a very simple question. Okay, so in case you have any doubt on this particular question, you can call on this particular number. Thank you.